over the last few years, there has been a lot of emerging evidence to, in fact, support closure of the left atrial appendage as being a viable option in patients who cannot be placed on blood thinners. There have been uh, numerous trials looking at percutaneous closure of the left atrial appendage. The most notable of the percutaneous therapies available is the Watchman device. The Watchman device is the only FDA-approved device available for commercial use in the United States and was approved in April 2015. The Watchman device is a parachute-like device which is placed percutaneously to plug off the left atrial appendage. Prior to uh, placement of the Watchman device, we have patients undergo imaging studies to assess left atrial appendage anatomy. And based on uh, anatomical sizes, uh, we can select what specific Watchman device can be utilized for this particular patient. The procedure typically takes about an hour or an hour and a half to do and is done under general anesthesia subsequent to which uh, the patient uh, is monitored for a short time in the hospital and discharged home. There are other options that exist in, for left atrial appendage closure, uh, such as uh, the Lariat device, which is a suture closure of the left atrial appendage, which we tend to uh, recommend in patients who absolutely cannot be placed on blood thinners and who are considered at very high risk of a stroke. Uh, UPMC has the largest regional experience in conducting uh, the Lariat procedure. Another option that exists in, in patients who are not candidates for either the Lariat or the Watchman device includes surgical closure or, or uh, uh, left atrial appendectomy, which is done by a cardiothoracic surgeon. Physicians need to be aware that uh, the incidence of stroke in patients with atrial fibrillation can be significant. With the current era of medicine and with devices such as the Watchman, options do indeed exist to prevent stroke in the most frail of our patients who cannot be placed on blood thinners or who are considered at high bleed risk. Offering these novel therapies to patients may prevent them from having devastating complications of atrial fibrillation.